So this video is gonna be a little different. I've never done a story time before, but I have a story that begs telling, and I'm gonna tell it right now. This is the story about how Urban Outfitters banned me from buying vinyl records. And yes, it's absurd. Stick around. Let's go back to where it all started. Urban Outfitters has been known to do lots of exclusive pressings. Ever since they started selling records, they were doing their own variants for all different kinds of modern records and even some classic ones. Those records oftentimes go on to be the most valuable and desirable version of that album. I've definitely purchased my fair share of records and even clothes from them over the past few years, and I sometimes go and check to see what new exclusives they put up. In 2018, around April, I went back on their site and saw some records I wanted to buy. I bought four records, added them to my incoming records list, and promptly forgot about them. A couple months later, an Urban Outfitters package arrived on my doorstep. I honestly wasn't even thinking about those records when I opened the package because it had been so long since I ordered them. But I opened the package to find a bralette and boots. Now, I don't know if I would have looked good in them and they probably weren't my size, so I decided not to keep them. They obviously weren't for me and I wanted the original person to get them. So like the good Samaritan I am, I put the return label on, returned it to the post office and off it went, hopefully to its actual destination. Cut to a couple weeks from then. I was looking through my incoming records list to see what was gonna be coming in soon and I saw the Urban Outfitters records I ordered and I was like, wow, those haven't arrived yet. Hmm. So I went to go check the tracking number. What did it say? Delivered. Hmm. Certainly did not. And then it all of a sudden just hit me like a ton of bricks. The package I received was about the same time frame as the delivered message on the tracking. Obviously it was just a simple mistake. The warehouse must have given the wrong package. The delivery carrier must have dropped off the wrong thing. Something happened that was user error and it's totally fine. Urban Outfitters is a big company. I've been a long time customer. They're totally gonna rectify it when I explain the situation, right? Right? Wrong. This is where the story begins. I call Urban and I try to explain the situation as politely as I can. There's no reason to be upset at this point. This was a simple mistake. I have tons of other records to tide me over in the meantime. They'll make it right. They tell me after I explain the entire story as I just explained it to you that they can't refund me unless I send back the records. This is after I said to them I never received the records. So someone's either extremely stupid or just not listening to me, which either way is offensive to be talking to. They then tell me as I re-explain that, that there's no proof that I returned anything because I don't have the label that I used to return the items that weren't mine to begin with. What? I did the right thing. I just returned an item that wasn't mine based on what the instructions were in the package and I'm getting penalized? Isn't the customer always supposed to be right? Let's keep going. Now this was a hundred dollars or so worth of records. So if I wasn't gonna get my records, I at least want my money back. So I asked them to speak to a supervisor. I hate to be that person, but this person was not helping me in the slightest. I needed to escalate and so I did. Supervisor comes on the phone and I have to re-explain literally the whole story again. Is it that fun? They continued fighting me at first, but I held my ground, and eventually, after back and forth for almost a ridiculous amount of time, the supervisor says, okay, as a one-time courtesy, we will refund your purchase. Finally, someone is actually listening to what I'm saying and treating me like a customer. I thank them, and I go on my way. Story's over, right? Oh no, there's more. A few months go by, hadn't really thought about the situation, and I noticed that they put up another exclusive on their site. I think it was the Paramore Riot uh, Orange variant. Now, love that album, don't own it. I thought this would be a great time to add it to my collection. The color matches perfectly, let's do it. I purchase it, all's good. No, it's not. A couple minutes later, I get a cancellation email. I thought to myself, oh, did it actually sell out in the time between adding it to cart and checkout? Went back to the site, nope. Totally in stock, okay. I order it again, come minutes go by, canceled. What? This is weird. So I thought, okay, it must be my card. Let me use PayPal this time. I use PayPal, order again, canceled. Okay, Urban, back on the phone with you. I'm saying, hey guys, what's going on? Trying to buy things from you, trying to give you my money for products from your site and it won't let me buy it, it's in stock. What's going on, guys? Urban proceeds to tell me that there is a hold on my account for 90 something dollars. You've gotta be kidding me. I then go and explain the whole story again to this person. They tell me that's not what the account shows. Again, the customer is supposed to be always right and I have not been right in their eyes once through this entire story. I then say, hey, all these calls are recorded. We get that message saying that all the calls are recorded. Can you pull up the phone call with the supervisor so I can prove to you that I'm not lying. And that's what they said, that it was a one-time courtesy and they refund me and they understand I have no merchandise to return. And they said, okay, it's gonna take us two to three business days, we'll call you back. Great, I'm patient. Even after all this time, I can wait.
So at this point I decided it was probably time to call back. I have to explain the entire story again, because there seems to be no record of my previous call, and then they proceed to tell me, oh, we can't pull up phone calls after 30 days. What? What the hell was the other person talking about then? They tell me there's nothing they can do to unblock my account until I pay the fee that's on my account. The fee that I did not owe because I never received the merchandise. <laughs> At this point, I just give up. I am done fighting. This is just so crazy. I'm not gonna continue to try to push this. This is, this is gonna hopefully just blow over at some point. Cut to a few weeks ago. This is now months after the incident. Urban puts out another exclusive that catches my eye. I remember, oh right, I can't order anything from their site. So I hit up Adam, our merch guy, and I say, Adam, could I please pay you to buy this record for me and send it to where my records are going in Jersey while I'm doing this cross country move? He said, sure. Adam proceeds to order the record with his credit card to my father's address in another state with my name attached to it. Can you guess what happened to the order? I bet you can guess. Canceled. What? First of all, there is no tie to me at all besides my name. Is every Matt Kessler that tries to purchase something on Urban Outfitters gonna be blackballed from now on because of their idiotic mistake? This is absolutely asinine. Has anything like this ever happened to you before with Urban or anyone in general? Leave a comment. I would love to hear your stories where you got totally slighted by a company that had no reason to do so. That's my story, guys. I got banned from buying vinyl from Urban Outfitters. It is as ridiculous as it sounds, but there's other places to buy vinyl. Thankfully, if you guys like this video and want to see more vinyl related content, make sure you're subscribed to Too Many Records. More videos soon. Take it easy.